In the Houthi-held Hodeida region, Governor Mohammed Kahim told the rebels Almasira TV that 30 people died and five were missing in the floods, adding that more than 500 people had been displaced. He added that a number of homes were destroyed and more than seven cars were swept away. Hodeida, the southwestern city of Taiz, and the northwestern city of Haja were all hit hard by floods this week during Yemen's ongoing seasonal rainfall that caused flooding that swept away poorly built homes. UN humanitarian agency OCHA said the flooding in Taiz had affected 10,000 people and resulted in 80 wells being buried, farmlands being washed away and homes damaged, citing access difficulties and a shortage of funding for aid agencies. Local authorities still haven't reached areas severely affected by the floods for two days, leaving some residents trapped inside their homes, according to witnesses who spoke with the Associated Press. Mahdi al mashid chairman of the Supreme Political Council, ordered local authorities to respond to damaged areas, according to Masira TV, which reported that floods caused major damages to properties, lands, and roads in Hodeida. Witnesses described the scene in the Yemeni Tehama coastal plain as horrifying. Mohammed Rassam said some livestock were found dead after drowning in the mud due to the floods. Food supplies and drinkable water were also lost. The flood swept away everything, he said. Some residents were stranded inside their homes in Tehama, a region that is part of Hodeida. Others were able to leave and headed to Hodeida city. Many of the houses in Tehama, where malnutrition has been reported, are made of brick and materials that can be easily ruined by rain. Fem Sayara. I'm good. Thank you.